So the level of carbohydrate restriction required is something that's highly individualized. Uh, so not everyone needs to be on a ketogenic diet, um, but a lot of people would benefit from some level of carb restriction, especially if you're overweight or obese or have any degree of insulin resistance. Uh, so this is, um, you know, this is something that's very much, you know, a science and an art to be able to figure out for yourself or for your client or patient what the appropriate level of carbohydrate restriction is. Um, uh, we are, you know, increasingly um, learning about the unique benefits of a ketogenic diet, though. So there does seem to be a broader application for the, the more rigorous carb restriction in order to induce ketosis because of many of the unique health benefits associated with beta-hydroxybutyrate and, uh, and acetoacetate. So... Um, you know, so anyone can generally adapt to a ketogenic diet and do fine on it, but not everyone requires it. So that's something each person kind of has to figure out on their own what, what's, what works for them in order to maintain health and, and treat their various metabolic conditions. But it also changes within a person. So you may be able to tolerate more carbs in your 20s. When you get into your 30s and 40s and beyond, suddenly you're level of insulin resistance is going up and your carbohydrate tolerance is going down. So it can be a bit of a moving target as well.